Konnichiwa. Everybody, and glad you made it back to this new video. Uh, it arrived. My Horizon Forbidden West Collector's Edition is here. And the first thing I noted is this thing is freaking huge, okay? The box doesn't do it justice. Um, so just you can see for scale, I put a PS5 controller on there. At first I didn't know how to grab it or how to get it out without destroying the other box but uh, once you're a little gentle it might be you know the first time for it uh, you, you can get it out a little touch uh, here and there um, gets it out now let's take a little closer look at the box that we have here of course the cover art is pretty awesome you have uh, this uh, scene depicting Aloy and in the front and uh, those little symbols on the sides and uh, of course uh, in the back you have uh, the, the contents of the box uh, it's a very beautiful very shiny box And uh, here we have um, the contents of the box, so Digital Deluxe Edition, which is a goddamn shame in my opinion, because the Steelbook has place for two CDs and you only get the code for it, so oh well, it's downloading now, so I thought uh, let's put together a video for you beautiful people out there. Opening this up was a little tricky because the box doesn't open uh, No, you know from uh, at the top uh, it has uh, tapes on every side You know you have those two in uh, left and right and then in the back and down It's holding the box together. So you have to open it from the side So you have to be really careful opening it not tearing anything But once you threw that layer, this beautiful box opens up to you. And uh, best way to get this out is to hold the white box with uh, one hand and to push it out with the other. But as I said, be gentle not to tear through this beautiful box because you definitely want to have this on display. Man, the struggle was real. I didn't know what was harder, trying to get it out or trying not to break the box on the outside. And in the end, I was the victor and I thought that is beautiful. The colors, the illustrations and everything, it's, it's just so beautiful. Uh, it's one picture, uh, but all around the box here you have a closer look. And I'm not gonna pretend to know the names of all of the machines in this picture. Uh, all I know is that I'm absolutely in love with this thing. Uh, it's not comparable to any other limited edition I have. It is that beautiful. Once you're done, you know, just taking in this beautiful box, uh, the inside, there's the mammoth. And you have to be careful. Uh, taking it out because he's only secured on the top and at the bottom the platform that he stands on I wouldn't risk you know it's, it's slipping out because you never know uh, if it's secure or not and as you can see there are little pieces that you have to put together there's the little alloy and once you're done with that you have this little slider here uh, that contains the steelbook which is Again, the most beautiful steelbook in my collection by far. And this little art book on the right. We're gonna take a sneak peek later. Uh, here's it up close. It's uh, the colors on it. Uh, oh my God. Just looking at it, I, I wanna hold it in my hand.
every part of this limited edition, this collector's edition that we have here is just beautiful. I, I cannot complain, I cannot stretch this enough how beautiful the whole thing is. Here's a little sneak preview on uh, the art booklet that, that you have. It's similar to the one that you had in Horizon Zero Dawn, depicting maps, costumes, concept arts and whatever these depict. It's also very very beautiful and colorful on the inside as on the outside. And now to the good part. This is for all the cookies. Um, so it's secured top side but the bottom isn't and uh, always be ready to have a knife on hand just to remove the tapes that hold it together. And let's take a look at this baby from uh, from every side. Um, you, as I said, you have those little pieces that you have to put together, connect the horns and the uh, uh, mouth part. You can see my dog in the background. This is bigger, way, way bigger. I mean, in height, uh, in length, not so much, but in uh, height, this is taller. I underestimated the, the size of that thing. It also comes with a instruction on how to put this thing together. So you know which horn goes where. Uh, the individual pieces um, fit only one hole and uh, not to break anything by mistake because that will be a shame and uh, let me tell you it is hell my fingers hurt I had one of my friends on the phone while putting this together he pre-ordered it too uh, and by the way uh, this was 230 euro which is 260 dollars US I think always uh, rough estimate and he also told me he almost broke his thumb on one of the horns because uh, it's that of a tight fit um, the the horns on the upper side go in via slider and uh, the ones on the low side go in with this clicking mechanism it's it's kind of tricky but once you see how the shape fits the hole with a little bit of raw power you should connect the four parts and then uh, the, the nose part goes in and you have a beautiful collector's item to display I have absolutely no idea where I'm gonna put this thing because I kind of underestimated the size of this thing as I already told you the platform that he's standing on is a little too wide for the shelves that I have so I might have create some space to fit this because I really really want this on display it's that beautiful so the upper horns you have to push in and the uh, under horns you have to put on the the um, corresponding part and as I said it's a little tricky uh, you will get might get frustrated but take your time you don't want to break this beautiful piece of work And uh, here comes the nose part. Uh, with that one you have to be very careful because uh, as you can see it's up there but in between those, those I think there are lasers uh, come to think of it uh, not to break those because the, t the hole is very tight and that's what she said by the way and uh, the, the slide you have to put it on is really really just matching the hole. 
uh, so you have to be careful on every side not to break anything but uh, as always brute force always prevails and there's the nose part and uh, here we got the finished product I am absolutely in love with this this looks like a primal fury transformer to me is the, the best way I can describe this and also those little cables sticking out you know uh, that, that every machine has in the horizon and it also comes with this uh, very detailed uh, alloy figure uh, just so you know the scale uh, how how big this thing is compared to alloy and uh, as I said it's comp it's detailed out the ass dude and uh, here's a little closer look on how detailed the the mammoth is with those horns and the head those cylinders in the back you can see every part so so you know that this thing will be a beast a, a force to be reckoned with Here you have the scale on Aloy to it and uh, it would be so awesome if you have to you know climb it to take it down and uh, I bet the noises that that thing is gonna make will be crazy. And uh, here we have for the final shot the uh, comparison to the old limited edition or collector's edition uh, which I like kind of more but uh, as I said this transformer look to it uh, gives, gives it this little touch all in all this is a great limited edition I absolutely love it and I think that the price is justified now if you will excuse me I have a world to discover have a wonderful weekend take care bye